A horrifying scene when a beachfront balcony collapsed over the weekend right there, sending more than a dozen partygoers onto the jagged rocks below. Those people were also injured by broken glass and debris, and now some of them have hired a lawyer. KCAL Lines Jeff Nguyen spoke with that attorney. He joins us live with more on what they had to say. Jeff? Susie, the collapse happened at the home right behind me where you see a cleanup truck parked out front. This after the property got tagged for safety concerns over the weekend. Today, police tape could be seen from the sidewalk at this Malibu property as workers arrived after this. <laughs> The balcony collapsed on Saturday during a party attended by dozens. Shervin Lalizari says he represents at least four of the party goers who were injured. Some of my clients have orthopedic issues. Um, one of them hit their head. We made contact with the homeowner who declined to be interviewed, but over the weekend, she told our Lori Perez she rented out the place with the agreement that no more than six people would be there at any one time. And she said she tried repeatedly to ask the renters and their guests to leave. I don't know what uh, communications the homeowner and that person had. So this whole thing about six people, I'm not sure if that was, that's true. I'm not sure if that was ever said. So I don't want to speak on the person who threw the party's behalf. He points to a past MLS listing with pictures of the home with a living room that opens up to the former balcony and a second balcony on the roof with a hot tub. <laughs> I was horrified. Real estate agent Donna Bohana says she worked with the owner to list it as a rental for about 10 years, but they stopped doing business in 2016. I've done about 12 transactions on this stretch. Having a balcony like that, you really have to maintain it like a boat. The elements and the salt water can easily damage the wood or the uh, steel beams. And through their attorney, the people who were injured say they do not place blame on the person who threw the party. A lawsuit is expected to be filed in the coming days. We're live in Malibu. Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.